And another big story that we're following tonight, the COVID-19 national emergency officially ends at midnight. Hospitalizations and case numbers are down significantly in the U.S. and many Americans are now vaccinated against the virus. However, this doesn't mean that COVID is no longer a threat to you and me. So now the question becomes, what happens now and what does this mean for you? Lynn Bowie has the answers. Even though the COVID-19 emergency declaration is disappearing, the virus is not. A thousand Americans are still dying every week of a disease that we didn't know existed in May of 2019. It's the fourth leading cause of death in America today, right? And certainly, if that isn't an emergency, I'm not sure what is. University of Maryland public health professor yeah, Neil Siegel says the average Marylander won't feel an impact when the national emergency ends. Vaccines should be covered by health insurance, Medicare, or Medicaid. But COVID-19 at-home tests may no longer be free. And the CDC will change how it collects state and local data on COVID-19 cases. Certainly people who are medically vulnerable, who are you know, economically or socially disadvantaged, are likely to feel the brunt of this far more than, than the average person might. Professor Siegel says it's likely we'll experience another COVID surge. So take precautions, including masking, to protect the most vulnerable among us. One of the most amazing things about the early pandemic is our collective investment in the health of our neighbors. And if we forget that and if we move on from that, then that's a tremendous loss. There are also no more vaccine requirements for federal workers or contractors or international travelers flying into the U.S. Lynn Bowie reporting for WJZ.